Hello crafty friends, my name is Jessica and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be expanding on my recent color blend series using the Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Inks. If you're new here, welcome. We recently explored every single trio in this line and I'll link it in the playlist above, so be sure to check that out. But since we've gone through every trio, what I'm planning to do today to move this series forward is today we're going to play with rainbows. And next time or next week, maybe we'll play with something else and we'll just continue to explore these colors together. Now, I can't talk about ink blending without talking about my favorite paper. This is Simon Says Stamp 130 pound cardstock, and this is my preferred ink blending paper. It's smooth and there are other smooth cardstocks on the market. So be sure to just use what you like and what you feel is best for you and all your needs. So we're gonna start off here by using just three colors. That's what's really fun about these inks is when you use just three basic colors, you can get a full rainbow. I do realize though, after I did this video that we leave off purple, but we get the idea. You can definitely have brought the pink into the blue and gotten purple here at the end. But I really wanted to just show you that you don't need every ink color if your needs are simple. and while having all of the ink colors is, are nice, it's not necessary. So we're getting started here with some of my lighter colors that I like to use for rainbows. And so these colors are sweets, peachy, lemonade, celery, seafoam, marine, and lilac. Now here's what I'm talking about. I went ahead and I threw down my yellow. I like to use yellow the, first because it's the lightest color, but also it can easily take over when you're adding color to it. So I like to do a nice big band of yellow and then add the other colors on the outside and bring them in. But as you can see here, when we mixed marine and lemonade, we got this really beautiful green color. So now we took two colors and we turned it into three. And here we're gonna see the same thing with sweets. We're gonna go ahead and add this really beautiful pink and then the yellow and kind of blend them over top and we get a really subtle orange. It's not quite the same color as peachy, but it is still an orange nonetheless. And so we went from three colors all the way to five. Look at how beautiful that is. So again, this is sweets, lemonade, and marine. We're gonna go ahead and do a quick clean, and then we're gonna move on to doing a rainbow with every single color. I'm gonna just take a minute to let you know that I have all of the supplies used today linked down below in the description box. So be sure to click expand if you're interested in any of the ink colors or the tools used today. They are affiliate links. And what that means is that if you click on a link and shop with me, I do receive a small commission at no extra cost to you. This just helps ensure that I keep my content fresh and help supply the little bit of a craft addiction that I have. And I mean that with full sarcasticness. It's a big craft addiction. But what I'm doing here now, I'm just going in very lightly and we're gonna start with pink, move through the colors and trying to just keep very small bands. We do have seven colors here today and trying to include all seven colors on one panel can be very challenging but I'm going in very light handed. That's really important when you're doing ink blending is to go in light handed. You can always build color up, you cannot remove it. And later on in the video, you're gonna see where I went a little heavy handed on the last panel and we'll point that out when we get there. But I'm just taking my time rotating my waffle flower grip mat. This is why I keep the backing on this grip mat because I like twisting and moving the panel until it's comfortable for me in order to get the best ink blending. So you'll see I started with the pink on the right side and now I've pivoted to the left because I do enjoy working from the right side, probably because I'm right-handed, but I don't like going over color. I like to pull the color, I guess. I like to have the color on the outside <laughs> or I'm adding it on the outside. So I'm not putting my hand over the rest of the color. I've been known to have ink on my hands most of the time when I'm crafting. And so that just allows me to not put the ink on the panel. Now you'll see I do, <laughs> I do when necessary, go over the panel like you just saw there before I twisted it. But for the most part, I do like to come in from the right side. So here's all the three colors. We're just going back through and really making sure that they blend. 
Look at how beautiful this panel is. So this is Sweets, Peachy, Lemonade, Celery, Seafoam, Marine, and Lilac. And here we are just comparing them. So you can see you kind of miss out on that purple when you are comparing the two from the original panel to the second panel. But you could easily have gotten purple by adding a little bit of sweets over the blue. You're still using the three colors, but you would get that full rainbow at that point. So now we're going to go in with some of the more bolder colors that are in this line. And we're going to start off with some of the very, probably the most primary colors of the line. So cherry is a very primary red. Zest is a very primary yellow with that cadet. And again, we're going to get those additional colors, which are really, really exciting, especially if you're budgeting and you don't have an opportunity to have all the inks. This is a great way to get started and still feel like that you can do these techniques with just three colors. Now, because these colors all have trios, there are more options for creating rainbows. It's really just about what look and feel you're going for. We did the more pastel, lighter colors to start off, and these are definitely what I would call the more primary, traditional colors on the color wheel. But there are very, very big variations, you know, so it's really just what rainbow are you looking for? I did two today just for the sake of time, but there could be more in the future. So here we have the three colors, and look at the beautiful green and orange that we got in between those two colors. Again, you could have wrapped that cherry down into the blue to get purple. I like to have my bands of color on my panels be similar in size. So you would just need to take that into consideration if you're like me and want consistency. When adding the purple on the other end, you're going to want to make your, your bands of color a little bit smaller. Now, I do apologize that I'm off screen here. I do realize it in a little bit. But I hope that you've really enjoyed the Color Blend series and that you're excited for the future. I know I am. I have some really fun ideas, and I'm hoping that I can continue to play with these inks to meet any kind of need that you're looking for and understanding them and the hopes of that you maybe you add them to your craft room. So a few little tips about these inks that I like to mention is they are water reactive. And what that means is if you take a liquid, preferably a clear liquid, and spritz it or flick it onto these panels, the wherever those little droplets of liquid hit, they're going to bleach the color. And so you can get some really fun texture without adding any weight to the panels very, very easily. So here you're gonna see, I had mentioned earlier about going in light-handed, and I went a little heavy in, and I don't think I blotted off. I do like to blot off occasionally when I know if a pad is extra juicy. And so I did get some brush strokes here with the green. And I went a little heavy and covered a lot of the yellow, so there wasn't a lot of opportunity for me to blend those inks out. If I had more room, I could pull that green up a little bit and smooth out those brush strokes. But because I'm adding the yellow on top, I had a really hard time getting those brush strokes to blend out without making that yellow disappear completely. So that is the panel. I apologize that I didn't name them for you, but hopefully you caught the sight of all those colors. They will be listed below. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a quick clean up and then I'm gonna dry these off camera. So these inks do dry back differently than what they look like here. They do smooth out and kind of lighten, especially some of those bolder colors. You're gonna see they're not quite as vivid when they're wet as when they're dry. But we're gonna go ahead and go through the panel. So this is our three color panel where we did get those transitional colors in between. So we have Sweets, Lemonade, and Marine. And for this full panel, we have sweets, peachy, lemonade, celery, marine, and lilac. Here they are together. Very, very beautiful. Because we had all these extra colors, the sweets wasn't quite as bright as it is on the first panel. And you kind of lose the marine a little bit because lilac and marine actually made an additional color there. And we got a little bit of a darker blue. Now we're gonna go ahead and look at these more primary or at least more traditional colors. This is Cherry, Zest, and Cadet. We took three colors and got five. And then the full panel here is Cherry, Sherbet, Zest, Lucky, Surf, Cadet, 
and Violet. Again, I will have all of these listed below as well as links for you to check them out further. But look at these beautiful panels. They dried back beautifully, evened out and smoothed. Did have a little bit issue there with Lucky going in a little bit heavy handed. But other than that, really, really beautiful. This primary rainbow compared to the more pastel -y, fun rainbow. They are very different. And there you can really see too the yellows. Yellow is really hard to capture, but you can see them next to each other. How different Lemonade and Zest are, which are both, I believe, um, no, Zest is not. That Zest is the middle of the darker trio of yellow and Lemonade is the lightest. So that's the video for today. Thank you for joining me. Again, if you have any ideas for content, let me know below. And I just want to let you know to have a great day.